Hey guys, Marty Rooster here, and today Infinite Warfare received an update that included a few minor patch notes and two brand new weapons. And of course, just like always, these two brand new weapons are free for all Season Pass holders. The first brand new weapon is called the G-Rail. It is a semi-automatic energy assault rifle. And second is a Stallion 44, which is a secondary handgun. First up, the G-Rail is a very interesting weapon. As you can see by the gameplay in the background, this is my first ever gameplay using the two brand new weapons. I had no attachments or anything, so don't be too harsh on my skills, guys. But the G-Rail is a semi-automatic. You can tap the fire button to fire as fast as you want. And as you can see in the gameplay, I actually do. You can fire this weapon so fast, guys. Seriously, it's like there's next to no delay between trigger pulls. It is insane. And also, when you aim down sights, you can charge up a shot, and it is pretty damn sweet. It's like you've got a built-in long-range shotgun on the weapon, and you don't have to do anything extra at all. You don't have to switch weapons or anything. You just can tap the fire button normally for a semi-automatic weapon, or you can just aim down sights, and then it will charge up. You can see these bars charging up. Then it will release a powerful shot, and you can still just tap the trigger. But once you stop aiming down sights, all your charges are depleted. They're gone. Now let's move on to the Stallion 44. Now this weapon is a very interesting weapon, just like the Assault Rifle, but I actually think this is going to be my favourite handgun in Infinite Warfare. When you aim down sights and shoot, you can shoot once, you have to cock it, you shoot again, you have to cock it. It's like you have to, it's like a rechamber time and it's quite long. So I don't think this weapon is going to be that good for aiming down sights on my first impressions. But if you shoot from the hip, you can just tap that fire button as fast as you want. It's not that accurate, but if you are close range, man, this gun does a hell of a lot of damage. And you, you just own people so bad. It takes a while to get used to because, like I said, it's a handgun. You are firing from the hip with a handgun. So I'm definitely, in the future, probably going to put a laser sight on this thing. And I, if it can go a Kimbo, I'm definitely going to probably rock a Kimbo. Then it'll be just like the uh, Dual World 44 Magnums from prior Call of Duty games. Alright guys, now let's move on to the patch notes of Infinite Warfare. First off, because they had two brand new weapons to Infinite Warfare today, they also added brand new calling cards, camos, weapon accessories, and gestures. It's just like every time there's a new weapon added to Infinite Warfare, it's absolutely amazing, but the weapons become less and less unlikely to get from a supply drop. Also, they have added the summer variants of the M2187 and the Proteus to supply drops. Alright guys, and that is going to wrap it up for this video. Drop a big fat like on the video if you enjoyed. And if you guys want to be a proud member of the Marty Flock, make sure you subscribe. Take it easy guys. Peace.